interview with uh, Pauli Malinaji, who uh, was getting a little bit riled up talking about the uh, UFC model versus the boxing no, business see, model. Even, even you get caught up into it. It's called MMA. It's not called UFC. UFC, oh. the MMA model is the same for every promotion. That's UFC a, started it. That's but a strong that's brand it. right there. See? See? That's exactly. That's how strong the brand <laughs> okay. is. That people, like a lot of people ask me like, would you ever do UFC, bro? It's MMA. Don't stop calling it by the name of the promotion. The sport is called MMA. But it's ex there's exclusive deals there, you know? And go ahead. But, and, and, but, that's, but that's the one thing you, you were talking about, how everybody says, well, you know, in MMA, everybody fights everybody. No, they don't. Exactly. They just fight within their own promotion, you know? So it's not everybody fights everybody. And just because one promotion is better sold to you than another promotion doesn't necessarily make it better. I mean, I, there's fighters that were top fighters in the UFC. They went over to one and got their ass beat. You know what I mean? So so it's, you don't know, you may find top fighters maybe in the UFC then some, in some weight classes, maybe the better fighters are here. And the, or you can just mix and match them. You'll never be able to do that. And the fact that it's not even talked about shows you how dumb that fan base even is. Because you should actually be talking about why can't these guys fight one another? You know what I'm saying? It's because they know it's impossible, they don't even discuss it. And because they don't even discuss it, nobody ever realizes that certain fights don't get made in that sport. And then they blame us because we're with the old business model where cross-promotional fights can happen because we're an older sport. So they talk about, oh, guys don't fight each other. Bro, you guys are the worst for not fighting each other. Are you but, kidding but me? But Paulie, and, and I, don't, I don't follow... Because top and, rank could yeah. easily just make all top rank fights. You know, most of the promoters are starting well, they, to do that. They do you a know? lot of that. And then PBC does the same thing. So you... If, if you want more of that, you're going to become like the MMA brand. Well, uh, you know, there's uh, always something that gets Polly riled up, you know, talking about this, talking about everything else. But we got a clip uh, where I believe you're a little bit riled up. Let's let's take a listen. Hold on, wait, but don't brag about taking my side piece. Don't brag about taking my side piece, though. That's my side piece. I'll tell you. I'll t I can explain this, but now I can explain it years later. Okay. First of all, it was not my girlfriend. I mean, I think that, that goes without say. Uh, but the issue was, fight's over. I had been dealing with this media ridiculousness. And this girl had been a stalker, man. Like, I've, this is the biggest stalker <laughs> I ever had in my life, honestly. Uh, she, made, she made up a pregnancy. It was, it was rough. I wasn't even living in New York. I was living in L.A., first of all. So this, the chick wasn't my girl. It was, she was just a chick I would mess with when I was in New York for a few months. Um, for a few months span that it happened when I was back and forth. But nonetheless, the fight ends. And me and Broner, you know, kind of bury it. Like, I speak for like 30 seconds, we kind of bury it, whatever. Um, I get robbed in the decision. And um, I'm going to be complimented if I planned on being, but I planned on saying I thought I won the fight, you know? But he, he gets to go first because he won the fight. And... He starts going on that, on that, on the tangent that he went on. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I took off with the intention of sucker punching. I took off, like from the moment I left my corner to run towards him, I was gonna rock him. But in the in the second that it took me to get there, I because I had been thinking about this the whole promotion because the promotion was getting very X-rated. Mm -hmm. I might lose this job I just got. I just got the Showtime job like less than a year. So. The promotion is getting kind of heated, and I'm kind of worrying. I'm getting some hints from them, like, yo, you got to tone it down. Like, can't say some certain things. And I'm like, and I've never dealt with this before. You know, I've just always been a fighter and just said what I wanted. Yeah. And this well, was, that, that's for sure. You yeah, always and, did. And, and this was a, a very good job that I thought, you know, would kind of carry me over after I retired. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of worried throughout the promotion, but I want to match the trash talk that Broner's doing. Cause I feel like I could, and I, and I felt like I did anyway. But I felt like you know he was a good trash talker. So I, I, it, it I'd was, say you were pound for pound one of the yeah, best in that. Yeah, but you know it was a good trash talker. So I want I didn't want to be limited, you know. But the fact that I was limited always had me a little app, bit apprehensive. So I, this was on my mind the whole promotion. Like, don't lose this job over this fight. Don't lose this job over this fight. And so when that happened, I take off to crack him. I mean, I take <laughs> and I'm gonna get him with a good shot, bro. I would have. <laughs> I would have spun his head around, bro. But by the time I get, I get there and I freeze myself. Like it hits my head. I, I get there and now I got this mic in my face and I, I'm like, ah, what do I do? What do I say, you know? And so I was, that I was like, you know, and whatever came out came out, you know. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Whatever came out came out, yeah. And as, you know, I, I'm still glad I didn't hit him because I, I, I made a lot of good money in Showtime. What fight was your hardest fight? 
Um, stylistically, Miguel is the hardest fight and the best fighter I fought. But stylistically, the worst matchup for me that was absolutely just terrible for me, Amir Khan. He's not the best fighter I fought, but stylistically, it just, it just, it just doesn't go. Doesn't go because he's a speed guy. Styles I'm a speed, make fight. Yeah, he's a speed guy. I'm a speed guy. Um, he's got he's younger, faster, lo- taller. Only guy that was ever faster than me. Um, and he's taller, lankier, rangy. So I remember telling myself before the fight, if I can't outbox him with this kind of speed, because he had these weird arms. You ever mm-hmm. play Street Fighter, the old video game? He's like, <laughs> Dal, it's like fighting Dal Sim. You know, like, like, like yeah. when he had these stretchy arms. Long arms. And then so, yeah. and he was quick with his feet. So I remember telling myself going into the fight, if I can't get to him boxing wise, I gotta press him. I'm gonna press him, press him, press him. You know, and. Um, and I'm going to see what he's got. You know, I, I, I told myself, you know, I've been to hell in the cold fight. Let's see if, he can, if I can take him to hell. But every time I got close, this guy would just grab me, hold my head down and grab me. And then Smoker would break us. And now I got to start all over again. And it's not easy to catch this guy, man. This guy's fast. Yeah. So every time I get close, he hold me and push my head down. Hold me and push my head down. And so it was like, couldn't get to him. And he broke me down, broke me down, broke me down. But it's funny because a year later, a year and a half later, I'm working the fight when he fought Lamont Peterson. And he lost points by that referee for doing the same thing to Lamont. And everybody was complaining. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is what he does. You got to take points on this guy. He's always holding and pushing your head down inside. And he's taller. So he's able to just push you down. And then the referee just breaks you. And, I, and Lamont wins the fight because uh, Amir, I think I substituted, deducted like two points. So, well, you both got, uh, anyway, both of you guys throw, that was the worst fight for me. You guys throw 